We have something interesting growing in the turf out here in our arboretum, and it's not a plant. Right down here in the ground, we have a type of fungi called the earth star. And it just looks like a round onion type thing, kind of right at the, the soil surface. Right back here, we have another one that's kind of splitting open a little bit. And they're called the earth stars because they are, of course, uh, formed right at the surface of the ground. And they're called stars because as they get wet, the outer layer splits open and it kind of peels or unfurls, curls back, and sort of resembles the, uh, the points of a star. You can see right here, here's one that uh, kind of got some of those star-like flaps, look like the rays of a star kind of starting to to furl back. Right over here is one that's fully open, and this really kind of explains why they do what they do, but uh, you can see those, those rigid flaps back here, completely uh, pushing back the grass and any fallen leaves or anything like that, and that is to expose this inter, inner sac-like thing that contains the, uh, the uh, very fine spores of the Earth Star, and if you uh, touch that or the wind blows or a raindrop even hits that you can see those spores being released uh, from that inner inner sac. Now these type of fungi are known as gasteromycetes or stomach fungi and that kind of sounds bad like maybe that's something that's going to get in your stomach and start growing but that's not the case. The uh, word stomach is just used to refer to that sac like structure that contains all those spores. They're similarly related to the puffball type of mushrooms that uh, grow on top of the ground as sort of a round structure. Now the earth stars like we've got right here are actually just the fruiting bodies of this fungus. The uh, main part of the fungus is underneath the ground. It's present as a lot of thread-like structures called mycelia that make up the, the most uh, largest part of the fungus. But uh, really interesting type of uh, organism we have in our lawn. They don't really do any damage to the lawn. They are saprophytic or they feed on decaying matter in the lawn like old tree roots or uh, any other type of debris that might be in the lawn. So they're actually helpful uh, in nature. The uh, fruiting bodies that we see of the earth stars are usually more present in the fall or spring whenever we're having wet weather and again that is uh, for uh, reasons that uh, when the, the outer layer gets wet it will split open and those raindrops hitting that, that center uh, portion with all those spores to help release those. These are so dry, they're very dehydrated and uh, very light so the wind can blow them away and occasionally uh, Native American tribes would sometimes use those spores if they had a tribe member that had a, uh, a deep gash or wound and it was bleeding very profusely. They would take those spores and kind of pack in that wound because they're so dry they would uh, soak up the blood and help cause some clotting. So the next time you're out in your lawn and you see one of these interesting structures you'll know that it's just a harmless little earth star type of fungus.